Well, behind me is the headquarters of the State Election Enforcement Commission, or SEEK. They'll be in charge of getting to the bottom of the alleged ballot fraud in Bridgeport, and they might not be the only ones. It is of paramount importance to this commission that Connecticut's elections and primaries are conducted freely and fairly. SEEK voting unanimously Wednesday to launch formal investigations into alleged absentee ballot fraud at these three locations in Bridgeport. Specifically, this surveillance video allegedly showing a city employee stuffing the ballot box. In addition, SEEK will investigate allegations of ballot fraud at the Fireside Apartments, a mostly elderly and disabled living complex managed by Park City Properties, their board of commissioners appointed by the Bridgeport mayor. We have uh, called directly to the Park City uh, Housing Office and we've put a complaint in. The John Gomes campaign claims Mayor Ganim conspired with property managers, using his authority to block access to Gomes. In some instances, those that were elected and on the slate with the other team worked out with the managers of those uh, facilities. Ganim denied the claims, telling Fox 61 older voters simply like him. We had a, a huge turnout with seniors. Many of them did and do uh, mail in, and I've always had not only one place in my heart for our seniors along with our, our, our youth, but they've been a strong base of support. In 2019, then candidate for mayor Marilyn Moore claims Ganim used a similar strategy against her. If you're the, the uh, mayor of a city, a chief executive officer, and it's public housing, you can go in and block anybody else from going in there. The other part that I have heard from directly from some seniors is tying it to the renter's rebate. Uh, to make people believe one has to do with the other. That 2019 SEEK investigation was delayed by COVID, still pending, referred in June to the chief state's attorney's office for possible criminal charges. In addition to these investigations, SEEK voted to subpoena all absentee ballots, ballot applications, distribution lists, prospective distribution lists, and both inner and outer ballot envelopes. Meanwhile, Ganim took to the radio Tuesday morning to throw a smokescreen on the authenticity of the surveillance video itself. It's still under investigation by the police department, how they stole the video, if that's what happened, or whether it's a doctored video or a combination of both. Ganim also said this. There's no question about um, the results. Except there is. For the second primary in a row, Ganim lost the in-person tally by nearly 500 votes until the late night edition of absentee ballots put him in the lead by 251. The commission is in receipt of several complaints regarding these events, and today we have determined that they fall within our jurisdiction. They have been docketed. They will be thoroughly investigated. We will work and are already working with other law enforcement agencies to ter determine what the facts are and when we learn them. Those facts will be brought to light. And they will need to be brought to light very quickly as the general election is still scheduled for November 7th. Now, separately, there is a Bridgeport police investigation into all of this, and the Gomes campaign has filed a lawsuit to try and get a judge to overturn the results of the primary election and authorize a new primary. We also did reach out today to the FBI, who told us they are aware of the situation in Bridgeport, but could neither confirm or or deny an investigation. We're live in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.